Hi everyone, Miss Walter here. Today is Thursday, March 26th, 2020. It is day nine of remote learning. Today for HTSD Spirit Day, it is favorite book day. So I have with me two of my favorite books. I have If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, which if you're in my class, you know I have The Stuffed Mice. I have a couple of the books, If You Give a Pig a Party, If You Give a Moose a Muffin. Um, I did do a video of me reading this book. So the link will be down in the description box. I'll also post it on Classroom and on my webpage. Hopefully you will enjoy it. I also have another one of my favorite books. It's called Mission 27. It's about the Yankees and it's about the 2009 World Series. And that's just a lot of great memories for me. So I loved reading this book and going back to those days in my life was a lot of fun. All right, so what's your favorite book? I know in our class, we have a lot of different books that we do enjoy reading. I know Dogman's always very popular. I know the, I'm not sure what they're called. I'm drawing a blank, but the books with the dragons, I forget what they're called. I'm really drawing a blank, but I know that's very popular. I know a lot of you like Pete the Cat. I know a lot of you enjoy reading the sports books. So with some nonfiction sports books. So whatever books you like to read, please make sure you're reading at home, read on Epic, whatever you enjoy doing. I want to start today's video by saying thank you to everyone that came to our first Google Meet yesterday. I was so excited to see you guys, and I know you guys were excited to see each other. I would love to do more class meets. Um, we could try maybe every Wednesday at noon. Hopefully that works for a lot of people at home. Um, a suggestion that a parent gave me, which was awesome, was to send a notification somehow because, as you know, Google Classroom doesn't send you notifications, so I will send a message next Wednesday on Remind, just to let parents know I did post the link. Another great question I got was about due dates because on Google Classroom it says nothing is due. Um, I do check every day your work and I give you a check if it's completed just like you do on my pink clipboard as you guys know in our classroom. Um, I do check officially on Monday. I do grade all the assignments and look over to make sure they're correct. That's so that families who um, are working throughout the week and need more time over the weekend have the weekend to catch up so keep up the great work here's today's assignments for writing you're gonna write if you could be an actor what show would you want to be on and why highlight that topic sentence which is usually your first sentence you're going to reread how do you know it's spring which is on book flicks oops i just scrolled away then you are going to write Three things that happen in spring. Again, you can do this in that foundations notebook or on Google Classroom. Please use complete sentences. Capital letter at the beginning, period at the end. Foundations, letters and sounds. Practice that double vowel team. And today you're going to write and mark three words. Kidney, hockey, valley. And practice your trick words. Unfortunately, the ground's really wet. I was going to show you how to, not show you how to do, but do some sidewalk chalk outside, but it's too wet. Today for social studies, you're going to do a reading checkpoint, which is like a little quiz. It's on Google Classroom, or you can click the link and complete it in your notebook. Today for math, you're doing pages 339 to 340. All right, I just want to say keep up the great work. Keep working hard. I'm so proud of the work I've seen handed in so far. Remember that you can always use apps like iReady, FirstInMathTyping.com, RazKids, Splash Math, Happy Numbers. Those are all things you can do independently without help of a parent. So please give your parents some time to relax and do what they need to do and go on one of these educational sites and practice your skills. Yesterday's joke was why did the pony get sent to his room? And I really like this one. It was because he wouldn't stop horsing around. So that one was really funny. Today's joke. And this one takes a lot of thinking, so think at home. Why do you what do you call a bear with no ears? So think about the word bear and the word ears. Right? Today's challenge. I want to see if you can draw a picture of yourself with your eyes closed. As soon as I turn this camera off, I'm going to try the challenge to post it in my video tomorrow. So let's see what the results look like tomorrow. It's going to be very interesting. As always, be extra cooperative, respectful, and helpful to your loved ones at home. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. And please reach out if you need help. Send me a message, and we can always form a Google Meet. Have a great day. Hope to see you guys soon.